everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist Vince Candela at Fox 6 in Milwaukee, and welcome to another riveting edition of Behind the Scenes at Fox 6. You know, when you watch our newscast, I mean, this is the way it looks on television. You see the news anchors and all the various news stories. But did you ever wonder what goes on behind the scenes? Who pushes all the right buttons and calls all the right uh, commands out to make sure our newscasts get on the air seamlessly? Let's take a look at our control room. The studio is a brightly lit place. The floor director cues the anchors to the correct camera, following the orders of the newscast director and producer. The camera shots are determined by the director, and the news anchors are in constant contact with the director and producer. But the director and producer are nowhere to be found out here. Instead, they work in a dark room adjacent to the studio. Here, the glow of many television monitors and computer screens provides the light. From left to right in this shot, we have the producer, the director, and the technical director. The producer structures the newscast, deciding the top news story, the second story, the third story, etc. The producer works with the anchors and the reporters to write the stories and then keeps a close eye on the clock to make sure we hit the commercial breaks on time and the newscast ends on time. Roll up on it. Roll it. What much Faced with the possibility of winning a series against the Dodgers, the Brewers absorbed a 17 to 4 pounding last night in Los Start Angeles. But no one's talking about the game Your as a boy, whole. Sound it's something that takes place late in the contest and carries over to the post game period. The director is like the quarterback of a football team, calling out the camera shots when to roll the various video elements within the newscast, like reporters' stories. Well before the newscast begins, the director is laying out the entire show, determining what cameras will be used in certain shots in the studio. And when the director calls out the commands, the technical director pushes the correct buttons to make it happen. Whether it's a live remote shot from a reporter in the field, or a pre-edited video package from a reporter, each button on the panel makes something happen. And that's a lot of buttons. But how much are taxpayers shelling out for this mess on the M chain? And hold your horses. Right, we'll see what happens Three, next. Two, Five, six, six, nine. We all know that we have certain improvements to make. Just behind the control room, but visible through a glass window, is the audio booth. Talk about a lot of buttons. Here, the audio engineer makes sure the correct sound goes out to the viewer at home watching our newscast, whether it's the audio from our microphones or audio from the various reporters in the field or on pre-edited video. Even the music within the newscast is controlled here. Keep in mind that all of this is done live, so any little mistake is visible to everybody. You talk about a high-pressure job. That's why we think the real talent is behind the scenes.